In the 1st Congressional District, Manchester native Democrat Chris Pappas is running for a second term in Congress. Republican Matt Mauer is looking to unseat him and add another Republican to the U.S. House. WMUR's Jennifer Cropton live now with more from the Pappas campaign. Well, we're here at Delta Dental Stadium, home of the Fisher Cats. It's Chris Pappas election night headquarters. If not for the pandemic, it would be at his family's restaurant here in Manchester, the back room. The 40 year old Harvard educated Democrat has been visiting the polls across the first district. He's a former executive counselor who supports a woman's right to choose. He would ban the sale of military style assault weapons and supports the U.S. working with NATO and our allies to counter Russia and China. And I hope what happens here is that we come together closer as a nation. We've got to focus on solving problems, taking care of health care and our economy, meeting this pandemic head on. And we can only do that with leadership that understands New Hampshire, knows how to deliver results. Papa says he was surprised and excited about the large turnout today, saying it is great for our democracy. For a look at what his Republican opponent, Matt Mowers, has been up to, we turn to my colleague, Tim Callery. Tim? Well, Jen, Matt Mowers is making his first bid for elective office, but he's no stranger to politics. He got his start in politics down in New Jersey, working for the administration of former Governor Chris Christie. And in 2013, Mowers was hired as the New Hampshire Republican Party executive director. Mowers also recently served in the Trump administration's State Department, and he received an endorsement from the president himself even before September's Republican primary. We just feel great. Folks are really ready to send a new representative down to Washington, D.C. Someone wants to cut their taxes, not raise them. Someone wants to fight for New Hampshire, not just their party leadership. I look forward to getting to work after a big win tonight. And Mowers will be watching the results come in with his supporters at the Doubletree Hotel located in downtown Manchester. Reporting live in the Queen City, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.